Help me out now. Here we go. The old clapper made it. Got the rusty, rusty 3030 trail camera. Go put that out. Have some bait right there from last year that was sitting in, sitting in the shack. We'll go up in the bush here and see what's walking around. I still have my blind and my tree stand in there, but Brandon came here last week and it said the blind's all garbage ripped up and whatnot. It sat out there all winter and maybe a bear ripped it up this spring. This is the first time I've been here since probably February. That was the last time I came look at that blind. Here's where I was standing last year when I shot that tree. There's a deer up over there. And the 3030 let me down. Popped the tree instead. That's the tree I hit. Fell over. Damn! There's my blind. Shaking my head. That is nothing but garbage now. I should have came grab it, but my tree stand's still here. See if I can put this up on a tree. That's all that I had left from rack em up deer attractant, apple extract, my trail cameras are right here, ready to go, tree stand up in the tree there. Just send her bud! It's pretty much in the middle now, I don't know. You're gonna go for it? I hope he doesn't fall in. We're gonna be stuck here, that's for sure. Back up and just give her! <laughs> He's going for it. Well, that's the only way. <laughs> not some good ice, but not when you hit it at that speed. I got it on camera anyway. She's smoking. Well, I hope there's not any more puddles. We might have to turn around and come through here again. <laughs> Which way? Oh, to the left a bit? Take how deep it is first. Take how deep like, the hole is and then I'll just go right straight to it. I guess you could just follow your tracks again, eh? Check it out. That's it. Gave her right out of here, those puddles. She's smoke.
the middle of nowhere with Daryl. Just got out here, unloaded the quad, and I grabbed my gun and started walking. Daryl's going on his quad. I think it was two years ago we came walking back here in the morning like this and shot a deer up on this road and then later on that evening I shot a nice buck down the road over here where we came in. But today's plan is to drop a deer or two, make some jerky, hopefully dope or buck. There she is. We just drug it out of the bush. I can't show the face. I went for a headshot, but at least she's down. Didn't suffer. <coughs> I am out of breath now. I guess we have to uh, start skinny. Seven millimeter. That'll do some damage. Four legs. Two back straps and two ribs. That's about it for that. The rest will go to the wolves and the crows. I guess we shall load them up and head her on out of here. Go to another spot and then head her home. Half an hour later and we're at a new location. I just seen a deer probably like 300 yards but I didn't feel like taking the shot and it took off. I had it in my sight but yes, that's the way she goes. She's starting to get bushy back here boy. It was never like this before but everything comes up so fast. It's only been a few years since I've been here. And here's what I've been playing with while I'm walking. And I guess that's why that buck, well earlier, that first buck that I seen, I guess that's why he came to the trail, while the road and yes. I never did get a shot because right there too, it's too bushy and when I shot that doe, I could barely see her. So I just went for a headshot and she dropped there. I just missed my buck. I was inside over there and I walked in so I could look out over here and I guess this quad trail, he was following it. When I came out right here, I looked this way and he jumped over there. Went running this way, got one shot off, but I missed. I did go check for blood. I was walking around the tree line there where he is running and Nothing. Look at this dude. He's supposed to be on a quad, but he's probably watching Netflix in here. 